Hello, this is Debbie Crawford, and we are here with Kara Fox. She's going to tell us some things about um, a group of people that some of us don't know anything about. And I'd say that's probably 80% of the community doesn't know about this group. And it's called the Women's Giving Circle. And you all have been in existence for how long? Well, um, 2012, there were 12 founding members. Right. Um, I was fortunate enough to be on that founding committee. It was kind of exciting for me as my first board. And um, I remember sitting at the meeting and asking why I was there because I was sitting amongst some people that I really admire and have looked up to. And they um, they told me I was there because of my youth. And so I was like, okay, good enough. Um, but the, it was just a, a wonderful group of women. Um, like I said, in 2012, we came together um, established what our mission was going to be and um, how we could better our community. And, and what is that mission that well, you um, do? Our mission is to engage women of all um, all means, um, generations, you know, young to right. old, um, and we want um, to have a voice that will help prepare women for, um, you know, future endeavors, education, um, you know, so f to make pr productive, fulfilling right. lives in our community. You know, we're very blessed here in Jefferson County. Um, we've got a lot of um, unique resources and so we weren't trying to re, um, reinvent the wheel. We right. just wanted to be able to pull our resources together and be able to help, you know, fund some of the things that we already right. have going on here. And so now you all, you have dues that are once we a do. year. We do. Um, it is a very um, Little donation, minimal, minimal yeah. donation. Um, it is tax deductible, and what we do is we divide that money up. Part of it goes into an endowment, and the other part goes into our grant cycle, um, which we actually um, we take grants from nonprofit organizations. Right. Um, they have an application process, and we have a group of women who go through those, and then um, we disperse that money. We have an annual meeting, which is coming up in March. Um, all of the active members come in, and we get to vote on where that. Money is going so there's not a lot of meetings required for right. our members which is very nice um, you can be as active or inactive as you want and then once a year everyone has that opportunity to be a voice as to where the money is going to go mm -hmm. um, a few of the organizations that we have um, supported in the past have been safe passages right. um, for domestic violence yes. um, big brothers big sisters um, developmental services um, Let's see here, Gleaners Food Bank. Um, we have done several through the Clearinghouse, right. which they have an excellent organization. So it, it is requirement they be a nonprofit um, and needs to be something geared towards um, education for women, children. Yes. And so it, it's just a great, um, great organization. We don't ask a lot. You, like I said, you can be as active or as inactive as you want right. to be. Well, that's wonderful. And so this is for um, most any women. Yes. Um, what about women outside of? Madison, Indiana. Do we we welcome anyone. Um, our money stays within the county. county. Yes, um, in Jefferson yes, County. Yes, we have women who have maybe left Jefferson County, and um, they they pay their money to be a part. Um, it also makes a nice gift. Mother's Day is coming up. Right. Um, if you wanted to give someone that really doesn't need anything a gift, you could gift um, give a gift of membership or an amount of money you know designated in their name. Right. Um, and so. It's just, it's just a great thing. My daughter, um, she, Lily's nine, and I thought that was an excellent opportunity to teach her about giving and philanthropy. So she, I think as, as of right now, she's our youngest member, longest standing member at her age. There may be a few younger. Making a difference with, yes. with what you can do. Yes. Um, at our annual meeting, it's really neat. We usually have a group of young girls through the high school um, who come and volunteer. Right. So it's a great networking um, event for them, and they get to see the women in our community that are trying to help and make a difference. Right. And like I said, we're not trying to um, reinvent another or come up with another organization to, to do a cause. We already have plenty of those here. Right. Um, we just want to help fund to those. To support the causes support that are already those. here. Yes. And they need that desperately. Absolutely. They Absolutely. need whatever they can get. Yeah. So. Um, we've got, some, like I said, we've got excellent nonprofits. Yeah. Um, so we just, we wanted to make it easy. Um, it doesn't require a lot of time because we all know everyone's very busy. It, yes. Um, but for those who have that extra time, you know, we, we always like volunteers. Um, a couple right. of our events that we do besides the annual dinner, um, which we have ladies who volunteer with that, we held the handmade market here in December. Yes. 
Um, that was pretty exciting. We had 25 excellent vendors local who made hand handcrafted items, um, and so we used that to raise for um, many of our operating costs. Right. Um, so we really keep our overhead, you know, nice and low, um, which you know is a big thing when you're right. we're doing this kind of work. There's no money that's coming to any of us individually. Right. Um, so we're always looking for volunteers in that aspect. Um, we did have a booth at Soup, Stew, and Brew. Mm -hmm. yes. um, they had a lot of fun. Um, you know, we had girls who came in and, and participated in that. But it's just, it's nice. It's just, um, you, you can give as much or as little as you want. Right. Now, do you all have meetings from time to time? I mean, our, besides your annual Our meetings. committee meetings um, uh -huh. meet occasionally if you choose to be on a committee. Right. If you're in the planning of one of those events, um, we do. Our board does meet once a month um, yes. almost every month maybe with the exception right. of one or two a year um, so yeah we don't have a regular monthly meeting that you have to attend oh that's yeah. that's yeah. wonderful that's, it's a well-oiled machine <laughs> that's very nice well that's a nice group to be with yes. in order to have time with your family and everything else but yet you can still give back to the community Absolutely. so Absolutely. it sounds like a, a busy ladies it dream. is. It is. <laughs> it's wonderful. Um, it's it's one of my favorites. Yeah. So yeah, I enjoy That's it. Well, thank you for being yeah. with us. Well, this thanks is for wonderful. having us. Absolutely. This is Debbie. Thanks for watching.